everyone, happy early Valentine's Day. I wanted to give you guys a special class for this holiday of love. And today we're going to be focusing on a flow that's really good for the heart. Cheesy, I know, had to do it. Um, so you might need a couple blocks or a pillow, really whatever you have. If you have none of it, don't worry. Um, I'll give you a couple options for how we're going to begin. So if you have blocks, I'll show you that one first. You're going to take uh, two of them. One is going to go on its long end facing up, and the other one is just going to sit behind it, kind of like making a T with them. You would come in front of the first block, and you're going to put the end of the block kind of where, okay, for ladies, it would be like where your bra strap ends, and for guys, like the center of your back. <laughs> so you would lie back um, so that it's just between the shoulder blades, and then the head would just drop down on the block behind it. So obviously adjust it if you need to. The feet can be together like this, and the arms can come out, or you can stretch the legs out ahead of you. You can let the palms face up and just kind of relax here. Now, if either this is too comfortable or too uncomfortable, or you don't have blocks for it, because um, this one you don't want to use books, that would be really unpleasant. Um, so if you don't have blocks, you can use a pillow and just lie back on it, so a little bit easier. In any case, find whatever version works for you. If you don't want any prop, that's fine too. You can just lie on your back. So blocks, no blocks, or a pillow works. I'm just gonna lie down so that you don't have to wait on me to get set up again. <laughs> and just start to relax the whole body. You can let the eyes close, let the palms flip up. Start to slow your breath down. The one thing about the breath that's really important for keeping the heart healthy is that the exhales kind of stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for calming the body down and bringing you back out of that fight or flight response and taking you down to a restful state. So while you're here for the next few breaths, I want you to focus on lengthening your breath out. And take one more breath in, exhaling completely. If you're on your blocks, go ahead and bring the knees up, plant the feet on the floor. You can bring the hands behind the head for support. Slowly come off your blocks if you're there. If you're just lying down, go ahead and sit up. You can move your um, pillow or your blocks out of the way, just so they're not going to interrupt your practice here. And eventually roll over the feet and come up and back to a downward facing dog. So tuck the toes under, lift the hips high. Maybe pedal out the feet a little bit so you get nice and long and lengthen through the back side of the body. Relax the head, relax the neck. And take a couple more breaths all the way in, all the way out. And even though we're gonna be moving um, more than we did at the very beginning, obviously, um, I want you to try to keep that same length in the exhale. So even while we move, even while we're building heat, we're still trying to keep some element of calmness in our practice. Finding some stillness in your down dog, go ahead and look forward. Step the feet up behind the hands and take a forward fold. Relax the head and the neck. Maybe bend the knees softly if you're a little bit tight. On your next breath in, go ahead and bend the knees a lot. Sweep the arms way up overhead and press the hands together. Exhale, fold forward, relax the upper body down. Inhale, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, fold. As you breathe in, step both feet back to a plank. Exhale, drop the knees and lower down between the elbows. Lay the chest flat, come up to cobra. Squeeze the elbows in, keep the tops of the feet down. Exhale, lower. Tuck the toes, sit up and back, downward facing dog. Find some stillness here. Look to the front of your mat, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. So nice wide stance, drop the hips low, but pull the chest up. 
step back to plank. Plank. We're gonna do the same thing. Inhale, downward facing dog. From your down dog, look forward. Step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Drop the hips low, pull the chest up. Step back to plank, try to keep the control. Up and back, downward facing. Let's do it one more time each way. Look forward, left foot outside of left hand. Nice wide stance, drop the hips, lift the chest. Step back, plank. Inhale, downward facing. Look forward, right foot outside of right hand. Nice wide stance, drop the hips, lift the chest. Step back, plank, hold here. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Sit it back, downward facing. Take a breath. From here, look forward. Go ahead and pick the left leg straight up overhead. Exhale, hug the knee in towards the chest, pull the belly back. Inhale, sit up and back, three-legged dog. Pull forward, knee to chest. Inhale, up and back. One more, pull in, knee to chest, hold here. Exhale, plant the foot, drop the right knee, and go ahead and open up the left arm towards the sky. Keep dropping the right hip down, spin the left shoulder back. You can keep the fingertips reaching back or up, whatever works for you. Take one more breath in. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, downward facing. Inhale, pick the right leg up. Exhale, pull it through, knee to the chest, hold. Inhale, back down dog. Exhale, pull forward, knee to chest. Inhale, back. Last one, pull forward, hold. Exhale, right foot down, left knee comes to the mat. Open up the right arm, any direction that works, to the sky or straight back. Take one more breath where you are. And then exhale, plant the hand. Step back, downward facing. Breathe all the way in, all the way out. And then look to the hands, come to the tippy toes, bend the knees a lot, see if you can hop the feet behind the wrists. Find a flat back and exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest halfway, and exhale, fold. Inhale, step back, plank, and slowly lower down. Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing. Now, earlier we did some kind of funky lunges. We're gonna do that again. Look forward, left foot to the outside of the left hand, drop the hips, lift the chest. Step back, plank. Inhale, downward facing. Look forward, right foot to the outside of the right hand. Drop the hips, lift the chest. Step back, plank. And downward facing. Keeping the heart right up. <laughs> Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to chest, hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest, hold. Inhale, three-legged dog, last one. Exhale, knee to chest, hold, hold. Plant the right foot down. Left heel comes down, come all the way up, warrior two. So reaching evenly down both arms. Drop the left hip, keep lifting through the chest. Try to relax the shoulders. Now make sure you bend that right knee a lot. So if you look down and you kind of can see the toes, see if you can sit a little lower and keep the work in the legs. On your next breath in, reverse your warrior. Flip the right palm up and reach the right ribs up towards the sky. Exhale, extended side angle. Elbow to thigh, sweep the left arm up. Inhale, back up, warrior two. Circle the hands around. We're gonna flow back. So step the right foot back to plank, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale back, downward facing. Inhale, pick the left leg up. Exhale, knee to chest, hold. Inhale, up and back. 
Exhale, knee to chest, hold. Inhale, up and back. Last one. Exhale, knee to chest, hold it. And then stamp the left foot down. Spin the right heel down. Open up, warrior two. Sit the hips nice and low. Lift through the chest. Check out that left leg. If you can really see all the toes, drop a little lower. Flip the left palm up. Inhale, reverse. Left side reaches up towards the sky. And exhale, extended side angle. Reach the right arm up overhead. Inhale, back up, warrior two. Circle the hands around. Step it back to a plank and take your vinyasa. Lowering down. Inhale, upward facing. Sit it back, downward facing. We're gonna jump up to the hands one more time. And obviously, if you don't wanna jump, just step the feet up, that works too. Otherwise, look forward. Tippy toes, bend the knees, hop up. Exhale, fold. Soften the knees a little bit. Interlace the hands behind the back. And you're gonna straighten the arms, let them drop up and over. If that's too much, you can always keep the hands on the lower back. Or if you have a towel, you can hook the hands on the towel. Let the arms drop over. Exhale, let the hands come down. Lift the chest halfway. You're going to bend the knees a lot and just have a seat. So comfortable seats, nothing fancy or special. Um, go ahead and roll back. So we're gonna take a light inversion. Um, inversions can be really great for helping to manage the blood pressure. So if you are like clinically hypertensive and you have really high blood pressure, maybe check with your doctor before you do this and I'll give you an option. Um, but if you just notice that you get really hyped up and the heart's going a million miles a minute after a stressful day or something, this is a really good thing to kind of help bring you back down. So block or your pillow if you still have it nearby. You're gonna roll back. We're gonna take the feet up and just the, with the block on its lowest level, you're gonna slide it under the hips just so that the hips can rest on it. And then from there, just kick the feet up. So keeping the knees bent softly so you can kind of relax. The arms are at the sides. Maybe let the eyes close. Now again, if you don't want to take the feet higher than um, the heart, you can keep the knees bent and just plant them right on the floor. So you just get a nice release for the back. We'll let the heart rate come down a little bit. Let the breath slow. And when you're ready, go ahead and bend the knees if they're not already there. Plant the feet, move your block or your pillow, whatever's there. I'm going to pull the knees over the hips, slide them to the right, and drop the knees to the left. Open up the arms and just take a nice, gentle twist. You can look any direction that feels comfortable. And notice the shoulders. If they're getting jacked up into the ears, try to relax them down. And inhale the knees to the center. Slide the hips the other way, so kind of move them to the left. And then drop the knees over to the right. Try to keep the shoulders back. And inhale, bring it back to the center when you're ready. 
Go ahead and give yourself a big hug. <laughs> Pull the knees into the chest. If you can, lift the chest up, tuck the chin, and get as tight as you can. And lay it back down. Take a few minutes of silence here just to let everything reset. You can keep the knees bent with the feet down, or you can stretch the legs all the way out, whatever works for you. And I just want you to come back to that same breath that we started with. So filling up on the inhale, but with each exhale, let yourself slow it down with each round. As usual, you can stay here for as long as you like, for as long as you need to. But eventually start to bring some movement back. Starting small through the hands, through the feet. Eventually pulling the knees in towards the chest, shifting your weight side to side. And taking as much time as you need, gradually bring yourself up to a comfortable seat so that you can sit evenly on the hips with the shoulders back and down. And on your next breath in, go ahead and pick the arms up overhead, press the hands together, and exhale them right down to the heart center, sealing it all in. Let the eyes blink open. Namaste.